In this very brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build your own corpus on Sketch Engine. So to do so, you'll need to log in to your personal account on Sketch Engine. And it's necessary to do so to build your own corpus. You click on My Corpora. And uh, here I can see the corpora that I've already built, but we're going to build a new one here. So we're clicking on New Corpus. You first of all need to give it a name. And we're going to start by um, creating a corpus of travel blogs. So I'm going to call it the travel blogs corpus. This corpus is in English, so I can uh, leave it there. And it would be important to have a description if I were to share this corpus with anyone. But for now, I'll just leave it blank. We can click on next. And here we have a number of options. We can either find text on the web or we can upload our own text. So I'm going to start by showing you the option um, of finding text on the web. So again, there are several methods here. Uh, you can either enter words or phrases and then Sketch Engine will find suitable websites for you. Uh, so uh, you could, for example, here type in um, traveling, backpacking, if that were something you're interested in, and then you press enter after every keyword or key phrase that you have. Travel blog would be two words. That's not what I meant. So I'm going to put them in inverted quotes. And then it's saved as a phrase. And you need to have at least three words or phrases. You um, give your folder name something meaningful. So this would be backpacking travel, for instance, um, you then click on go. And uh, Sketch Engine gives you um, the domain names that it has picked uh, based on your keywords. And if there are any in there that you're not happy with, for instance, I don't want to include YouTube in this particular corpus, I can untick these two and then click on go. And this will take a while because this is Sketch Engine sifting through these domains, these websites, and extracting the text. So removing the images, removing anything that's unnecessary uh, for corpus language analysis. And so this may take several minutes depending on how big your corpus is. But actually, this was very quick. We're already done. So I have a corpus and it's compiled. And if I click over here, I can start searching within my travel blog corpus. And here I could use all of the functions that you're used to. Um, concordance um, search, I could search, extract a word list, extract n-grams, or look at some word sketches. All of that is possible. I'm going to create another corpus though, and this time I'm going to use a slightly different method. This is called travel blogs 2. So this was the option of um, letting Sketch Engine find the websites um, that are suitable according to your keywords. This only works if the words or phrases that you type here are really very specialized. And I would recommend having more than three in order to have something meaningful. Another option is to actually include uh, URLs or entire websites. So a URL uh, would be something like, let's say if I'm interested in backpacking blogs, then I could find some suitable blogs myself, um, perhaps by looking at some of these lists, or I can say I'm definitely interested in this particular blog. Here I can copy the web address and place it over here. And so I'm going to extract a text from these this particular blog and all of its pages. I'm going to call this one Tales of a Backpacker. And again, I could click on Go and this would extract all of the text from this particular website. Or you could have a series of web pages. So for instance, be interested in Europe and on the best time to go to Europe. And here we have quite a lot of text here. And we could say this particular page and this text is of interest for my corpus. And here I could add it in here. 
So I can also include uh, a list of URLs with one URL per line. Um, so it would be possible to select really specific web pages that I'm interested in and compiling a corpus based on these particular pages. And the uh, huge advantage here is that Sketch Engine does all the work for you, removing the images, the links, uh, the boilerplates, the table of contents, and so on and so forth. It's not perfect. There will be uh, uh, some errors in that process, but on the whole, it's very efficient. So that's compiling a corpus with text from the web. You can, in Sketch Engine, also upload your own text. So here we could click on own text and it's very simple. You can simply drag your files into here and you can upload a range of file types. So as you can see here, they can be things like Word documents, HTML files, even PDFs, although not all will work. They need to be uh, readable, but you can definitely try. And you can also upload a zip file with several text within a file. And this can be very useful, for, in, for example, to create a learner corpus. So imagine you have text that your students have written, then you could upload them onto Sketch Engine to create a personalized learner corpus. Once you've created your own corpus, you can find it again here. You can simply type the name of the corpus to find it. Or if it's tricky to find, you click on advanced search and in my corpora, you should have all of the corpora that you've created yourself. What's also possible with Sketch Engine is to share your corpus with others. Now this can be useful if as a teacher, for instance, you create a corpus and you want your students to work with it. You click on the I and on manage your corpus and here you can share your corpus with others. So to do so, you'll need to know the email addresses of your students and you'll be able to give them access to the corpus, either to read the corpus, so only to do uh, searches within the corpus, or you could give them the right to upload additional files to the corpus. For example, to upload their own writing to a class learner corpus. Or if you want them to be involved in actually um, changing some of the settings of the corpus, then you can give them full access, though I would be careful if you choose this option, then it's also possible for them to delete the corpus. So that's something you should be aware of. So we saw that there are various methods to create a corpus in Sketch Engine, but it's very simple. All you need to do is decide whether you want to have a corpus with text from the web. And here you can select either individual websites, individual web pages, or let Sketch Engine find appropriate websites with keywords or you can upload your own text in lots of different formats. So I hope you enjoy experimenting with the corpus building functions in Sketch Engine.